Nastron misbehaving again. <laughs> Hello, my wonderful friends, for joining me in another video. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Nesta, and I live in a little house in Pahoa, and I love sharing my life with you all so you can experience it with me through my lens. There is something truly magical about seeing nature in all its glory, a warm golden hue slowly creeping over the horizon as it kisses the ocean waves. The quiet rhythm of the waves gently lapping at the cliffs create a symphony that fills your soul with peace and tranquility. So I take a moment to slow down and enjoy the beauty that surrounds me. My broken finger is healing slowly and I'm trying my best to adapt to this new normal in my life. It's a reminder for me to enjoy the little things in life and don't let this small hiccup limit me and still get myself out of bed to go enjoy this magnificent sunrise, this special quiet time of the day, this gift of nature I love so much. And here's Nastron misbehaving again. <laughs> Not me, never. I just spent six days at my friend Barb's house. Talk about kindness and generosity. I mean, that was really something. I did explain that I was kind of uh, locked out of my house. Oh, hello. There's a little piggy. You're gonna see him behind me here soon. <laughs> there are the four little piglets that I've been filming a lot. You've probably seen them in my previous videos. There are two females and one male. They're so adorable. There's the rest of them. These are the two sisters behind me. Oh, sorry I got distracted with, <coughs> with pigs around me. They are sweet little piglets. There are no harm at all going. So, my wonderful angel of a friend, Barb, she let me stay at her place for six days. But in those six days, we had so much fun. We went to so many places, did so many things. We should have been sisters from the beginning because we think alike. We have so many similar interests and similar in our life situation. That is what I have been doing for the past six days. My guests finally uh, left yesterday and I moved back into my house and settling back again. And now that I broke my arm, once again, I find myself not being able to go, to go back to San Diego, which I'm fine with that. You know me, I love staying in Hawaii, but I do need to get back to San Diego. But Michael was so kind and he said, go ahead and stay a few days extra if you want. So my next departure would be next week. 
And until then, I don't know, there isn't a whole lot I could do with this, but I'm sure I still find things to do. First of all, I have to fix my car. Then once the battery is replaced and I'm mobile again, I'm, I'm sure I would go somewhere somehow. With this going on, walking is one of the only activities I can do. quickly that doing everyday chores like washing dishes, making a cup of coffee or a sandwich, taking a shower and many other things that used to be second nature is just not as easy for me right now with this broken finger. I had to relearn and find a new way to do everything one hand. And you can imagine how difficult that would be. I still had to deal with all the fallen bird nest ferns we had collected in the jungle and plant them all. How would I do that? But I always believed in the saying, when there is a will, there is a way. So I did it Nastaran style and found a way to plant every single one <laughs> my way with one hand involved. I'm quickly realizing that saying I can't gets me nowhere. But being open to finding new ways to do things does. I must say, life is good and I can do anything I put my mind to. wanted to show you this beautiful flower that I have not seen in California at least. You may recognize it but I thought I share this with you. It's so beautiful, so big and beautiful. Locally it's called a fire a firecracker bush. Today, I had this plan to go to this local beach. It's like ocean cliffs and it is so beautiful. It is in the next subdivision um, towards north from us. It's a very large subdivision and it's called Maku'u Point. I have seen it only one time before and I fell in love with it. So today I decided it was time to go there and really explore it and take some cool pictures and videos for you but <laughs> that's not how 
what happened today. On my way there, it started raining really heavily and I thought, well, it's one of those Hawaii showers that comes in real fast and leaves really fast. But no, it continued uh, raining. There is a local nursery in that area, a Rosette Nursery, and I decided maybe I go there and spend some time and see if this rain is gonna stop or not. Unfortunately, it did not. So decided, I guess today wasn't meant to be. On my way home, I stopped at a fruit stand and bought some few pieces of fruit. I really, really miss it when I don't have any fruit at the house. I really need it. I miss it, especially Hawaiian fruit. I mean, it's just a no-brainer. So I wanted to show you what it is I got. I got some apple bananas. They are the most delicious type of banana I've ever had. They're very small as you can tell, but they're, they have a big punch of flavor in it. And I, <laughs> I also got a lot of uh, papayas. Uh, diff well, I, okay. <laughs> I like papayas in general. But my favorite is strawberry papaya. It is so red inside and it's just got this perfumey flavor that is hard to explain. So I bought a few of those. I also got a solo papaya because yesterday my friend Barb let me borrow one. She said you can have it. I totally get that, but I wanted to return it because She's got her own papaya needs, you know? I also got a star fruit and one mango. Why one mango? <laughs> because it was so expensive. It is like $3 each, so I'll cherish it. Another thing I found is these mushrooms called hamakua mushrooms. They are very meaty and oh my god, it is so delicious. I think if I was a vegetarian, probably that's all I would eat because the texture reminds me of chicken. So I'll be cooking those tonight for dinner. I can't wait, it's so yummy. There you go. Now let's talk price for these things. Uh, papayas are not that expensive. They are a dollar each. Star fruit is more expensive. It's like three dollars a pound. Mangoes are three dollars each and that's a good price because most places sell it for four dollars a piece. And this bag of hamakua mushrooms was six dollars. To me it was so worth it because first of all it's hard to find and it was right there when, where I was doing a shopping anyways. These, I really don't know how much was it per pound, but it turned out to be, I think, $3. Not that bad at all. Any kind of papaya, it didn't matter what type of papaya it was, it's a dollar each. So, um, when we go to farmer's market, I can usually buy it for uh, six for five dollars, so it's a little bit cheaper, but a dollar a piece is reasonable So for this entire thing, I think I paid about eighteen dollars Today Barb and I headed out to Hilo to run a couple of errands and we stopped by the Keao transfer station there is always a large population of both feral and abandoned cats there. It's heartbreaking to see so many of them homeless and hungry and suffering. There was a lady there who was feeding them all. She said she does this every day with her own money and a little bit of donations she receives. What a big heart this lady has who is single-handedly helping all these hungry cats. Many thanks to this angel. Both Barb and I donated to her so she can continue feeding them. We 
are back on the road again, and as usual, Barb takes me to a field trip to a new spot I haven't seen before. So we stop by Boiling Pots Falls, followed by Narnia Falls. Both are so beautiful. I was telling Barb about the day I went to see the Maku'u Point, but it was raining hard. So she said, well, it looks like you're having a sunny day, so let's go there. I was so happy. Maku'u Point is so gorgeous and the scenery is absolutely stunning. It has a lot of the elements that I just love. It's by the ocean and it has short cliffs and a lot of places you can sit and enjoy the views and the crashing waves. There are people fishing, walking, little kids playing and spectators everywhere. So it seemed crowded just a little bit because it was a Saturday. I couldn't get enough and I'm planning on coming back in the middle of the week so it won't be so crowded by myself to hang out, do some filming and fill my heart and my eyes with as much beauty as I can possibly fit in so I can share it with all of you guys. In my home, I get daily visits from several feral cats, wild chickens, and of course, my beloved pigs. It's been a month or so since these four little piglets showed up in the neighborhood. Their names are Rosie, Pudding, Butterscotch, and Edison. Why Edison, you ask? <laughs> because one day, Barb said, look at his eyes, they look like light bulbs. So ever since then, we've been calling him Edison. I've been sharing my leftovers, papayas, and trying to make friends with them, but they seem so skittish. So I find some old crackers from a few months ago, and I decided to share it with the piglets. In the beginning, they were so insecure about coming close enough to take anything from me, but the hunger was greater than fear, and they finally started taking the crackers. They are so adorable and are constant source of entertainment around here. Hopefully they don't get hunted and can live their lifespan. But unfortunately, I have learned not to get too attached to any of them as they have a tendency to disappear. And I never know why. Hopefully I'm wrong and they have just changed neighborhoods. It is not uncommon to have high winds and high surf around our neighborhood. When that happens, you can count on big splashes of waves crashing onto the cliffside, and it's like a symphony of the ocean's beauty and power. 
The winds are strong enough to make the palm trees dance like a hula dancer. My, my poor camera, camera didn't have a chance of standing strong and it kept falling over. And our chair is taken off with no effort at all. I don't go hiding when we are having high winds and high surf. Oh no, not me. <laughs> it's actually another one of those nature's many talents I've got to go and experience out there. And what's even better than that is that it's absolutely free for everyone to enjoy. Well, my friends, it's time to end this video. Mahalo for being here and watching this video with me. It's been absolutely great to share my life with all of you. If for whatever the reason you are not able to go to Hawaii, I hope you just come with me and let me show you what it's like here through my eyes. Hope to see you in the next video. And until then, keep your heart open and filled with love and put a smile on that beautiful face of yours. Take care and mahalo.